Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. So, I'm going to sing happy birthday real quick. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Aries, happy birthday to you. What do we have for Aries for the month of April? Uh-oh. Not a good way to start out the reading. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is a missed opportunity or an, on something that wasn't planned, something unplanned. This is um, this is a loss, okay? I can't pretend and I'm not going to. So this is a loss of some sort. Could be financial loss, okay? Or it could be something, a loss of something that could have been permanent. Okay, this is something that, um, you know, you, you, you may have missed it. You may have squandered it. You may have not uh, taken care of it properly. Um, it looks like there is somebody did not plan. They didn't plan, but, but it's too late now. It's too late. Um, but, it, you know, it's still in your hand, so it's kind of interesting with this deck in particular. It's like you, you still got it. It hasn't completely slipped away yet, but you can't fight gravity, right? You can't fight gravity. Something is slipping away, okay? Something is slipping away. This is a loss. A loss of stability, a loss of security, a lost opportunity. I mean, that is what it is. If I can get this thing to light. There you go. I forgot to light the candle. You know how I like to light candles for you guys. I don't know. Interesting. So that's an opportunity. That has been... Ooh, Five of Swords. Now this is a card of ego. So somebody may have a big ego. They may have a lot of pride. Now I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody that is, is losing you or you're losing them. This can go vice versa. Now, the five of swords is some pe two people walking away. You win. I don't care. You win. So this person wants to win at all costs. But in, in reality, they're losing something big. So this person, they're pushing people away from them. And they're losing something in the meantime as well. So these people don't want to have anything to do with this person. It's like, you know what? You want to win. This guy is very smug. He is very, very smug. He's uh, protective of himself. Has something to prove. Doesn't communicate well. Block, blocks his emotions. Therefore, these two people don't want to have anything to do with him. I don't want to have anything to do with you. So, Five of Swords. Five of Swords is defeat. There's a bully here. Somebody that, that is a bully. This is a bully. You have a couple people walking away from this bully. There's some sort of fighting going on here. Okay? There has been a fight. There has been a fight, but with the Seven of Wands reversed, this is quitting, stepping down. So somebody is stepping down. Somebody is definitely walking away. I don't want, I don't want this. This is walking away. This is stepping down. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Somebody doesn't want to fight. Now, this is definitely a missed or lost opportunity. Both of these cards say the same thing. So somebody has missed an opportunity or they are losing an opportunity. It's like they had an opportunity for something emotionally fulfilling. But this person is so... It looks like we have somebody here has a big ego. This person has a big ego. They are so focused on 
something in the past, focused on protecting themselves, focused on their money, focused on um, being on top, that they're in fight, 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 proving themselves, being on top, being in control. So we, we definitely have somebody here that has a big ego. Now, now there's a level of discontent and sadness. This is somebody that is sad. They're overanalyzing. Overanalyzing why they have experienced this loss. They've experienced this loss because they don't want to open up. Because it's like, it's like, it's just a big competition. Somebody could be deciding to, it, we definitely have, somebody is admitting their defeat and they're deciding that they don't want this anymore. I just don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. Nine of Pentacles reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed is instability, insecurity, a lack of discipline. Can't take action. Somebody that is unstable. We have somebody here that is unstable and insecure. Not doesn't work very hard. It could be somebody that is lazy and very pessimistic. Really doesn't take care of themselves very well. Wow. Three of Wands reversed. We have a relationship that is not on the same page. We have somebody here that just does not work well with others. And I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is doesn't work well with others. Just doesn't. It's, it's my way or the highway. And if you don't do it my way, then you can hit the fucking highway. So, you know, and it doesn't work like that. So I don't know if you're dealing with this person or if this is you, but we have a big, huge loss because of somebody's ego, somebody's pride, unable to communicate, unable to cooperate, unable to compromise. You know, we have somebody here that is very, um, it's like pettiness. It's like, um, insecure, very insecure energies just can't really work with anybody not doesn't work well with people um doesn't have any foresight just doesn't see the opportunity either so if somebody here that is is a lacking foresight uh, just can't see that they're losing a good golden opportunity and they can't see it because their pride and ego is so big the five of swords is a card of pride and ego conflict I'm very much conflicted. You know, this person may thrive on conflict, proving themselves. Has something to prove. There's somebody here that has something to prove. They're only looking out for number one. And they don't care who they hurt along the way as long as number one gets what number one wants. So we have, we have somebody here that is very egotistical that can't see. They can't see that they're losing a golden opportunity because of their pride. This is a fall from power. Admitting defeat. So, you know, maybe maybe it's the other party. Somebody is admitting their de defeat. Now, there could be a fear of giving up independence because this is the card of independence. There's an offer of love here. Okay, that's a that's the Ace of Cups. So there's an offer of love, but there's a there's a this is like a, a, do you want to be independent? Do you want to or do you want to be in a relationship? So I feel like we have, a, it looks like a masculine, I could be wrong, that is pushing somebody away, definitely pushing somebody away because of their, you know, independence. There is an offer of love that is being thrown away, per se. It's being thrown away. This person just can't see. Very naive. Very, very naive. No vision. Wasting time. There's a rejection. There's a rejection or an abuse of generosity. Somebody may, somebody may, um, this has to do with charity or a gift or something. Somebody may ab have, have, has abused their, their gift or their generosity, you know? Strong control. We have somebody here that likes to be in complete control. Likes to dominate. There's an abuse of generosity here. It's like somebody has 
um, the lack of reciprocation, lack of give and take, lack of equal equal equality okay we got this is like a one-sided situation somebody is dealing with a person that only cares about themselves very selfish individual here just doesn't see what they what they have because it's like this is about give and take not giving it's like it's not it doesn't work it's, it takes two okay takes two not not one so this is like a one-sided situation where we have an individual who uh, it's very selfish, and they can't see that they need to give. They need to give. Interesting. My God, Queen of Cups reverse. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. This person is is scandalous. Okay, this person is scandalous. Revengeful, wishy washy, needy. Um, shallow, jealous, sneaky, very, very, very sneaky. This person, um, is slippery, very, very slippery. Um, this person may be heartbroken. So we have a heartbroken individual who may be playing games. She may be, um, very insecure. Something there could be a loss of 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 money here. There could be a loss of money. Somebody could be deciding to not give. This is not give, not give uh, any sort of financial assistance or financial benefits to this person. This person is very very emotional. This person can be an emotional wreck. Okay, so we could have somebody here that can't master their emotions. They ask act hysterical. Okay, this is somebody who is hypersensitive. So you may be dealing with a hypersensitive individual that doesn't, I mean, this is the Queen of Cups in reverse. There's no love here. She doesn't love you, um, but she may be using you for some sort of stability or some sort of money. Okay, because there's money on both sides of her. Okay, but there's no love because it's reversed, so there's a lack of love. She may be using you, and it could be causing conflict because we have conflict here, conflict in your love life or your emotional state of well-being. There's, there's definitely um, a loss of money here or a loss of stability or somebody has lost a golden opportunity or they're losing a golden opportunity because of this, this, this woman. This woman is um, very uh, sneaky and, vin and vindictive. Okay, she is so slippery. You can She's so good at secretive, very secretive. She is so good at hiding things. She may be hiding money, but it looks like this guy is going to see it. She may be even stealing. Somebody may be stealing here hiding money or something like that. Anyway, this guy is it's almost like he's he sees the truth or something like that or he something about the truth. You know, he's looking right over at that loss of money. Loss of stability. I mean, there's 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 a huge loss here. I'm sorry, Aries, there is a huge loss here. I mean, there is. Um, nine of pentacles reversed, ace of pentacles reversed, six of pentacles reversed. I mean, it don't look good. Somebody could get fired. They could go on unemployment. There could be, you know, a theft, dealing with a fraud. Somebody is abusing their power. And you could be dealing with, a, you know, a con of some sort. This person is a very, is a con artist. And they're very good and skilled at what they do. you got to be careful. I'd watch your money and I'd watch your books. This person's probably been through your whole everything. They've probably been through your email. They've probably been through your books. They've been through everything. You are dealing with somebody that is after your money. And they're fucking up your love life. Or your emotional well-being. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. 
they're hiding something from you. You got somebody that is hiding something from you. They're up to no good. And I think that you need to protect yourself. You may be missing the opportunity. You may be or you may be missing what they're doing. One more card for Aries. Wow. You some yeah, you know, this is the Emperor reversed. Okay, so this is uh, getting very upset. Things are getting out of control. You need to take back control of your life. You need to take get back control of the situation. Things are out of control. You need to regain structure. I think that we, we, we have somebody here that is probably going to get very upset. Under a lot of social pressure. And maybe you are under a lot of social pressure to live up to some sort of standard. You are dealing with somebody, Aries, that doesn't care if they hurt you. They are only out for their own good. And they don't want you to be happy because then their, their money uh, outlet will be shut off. So I suggest that you investigate whoever it is that is after your money because there is somebody here that is after your money. I would suggest in investing someplace else, going someplace else. You are giving your energy in and time to something that isn't going anywhere. I feel like you know it. I think that you know that it's time to go. You know that it's time to relocate. It's time for you to plant your seed someplace else. Stop wasting your time. You have been wasting your time with somebody. I feel as though you got somebody that is, uh, you're dealing with a narcissist. I think it's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is only after what you can offer them financially. And if that means keeping you unhappy, then so be it. You are dealing with a selfish individual who only cares about themselves. Oh my God, look at how greedy. Greedy, 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 greedy. You are dealing with one greedy, selfish individual. Whew. Somebody that is obsessed with money. Obsessed. My advice is to take back control of this situation. Because right now they have complete control. Master manipulator. You're dealing with a master. Pathological liar. They have no resources without you. So anyway, Aries, I'm sorry to bring you this message. But I feel like you could get very upset. I think that's why the emperor is here in reverse. I feel like you may get really upset when you find out what this person has been doing. They are into all of your business and they are hiding some shit from you. They are abusing your kindness. They are abusing your generosity. And you may not see it, but you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You are going to see it. You're going to see it this month.
Good luck.